plus you know you know the thing we got is special baby that's something most couples don't know thanks for rolling up i'm two blood marley and this is certified pothead smoking on one of my nighttime spliffs you know we about to do bird club we about to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories which i like to call cannabis conspiracy theories today's theory is about mummies you know it's a funny thing about mummies they sure do last a long time but how did the ancient egyptians manage to keep their pharaohs and their elites wrapped so tightly in linen only for them to stand the test of time like a bad habit what if I told you that their secret wasn't just salt, spices, or some embalming fluid made from tree sap? Oh no, bruh. What if I told you the key to eternal preservation, the golden ticket to the afterlife, wasn't just the best burial techniques of the ancient world, but a little weed? Yes, you heard me right. What if ancient Egyptian mummification techniques included cannabis? I know it sounds like a puff piece for the cannabis industry, but bear with me. I'm about to unwrap this theory like it's the world's oldest joint. When we think of ancient Egypt, we think of pyramids, pyramids, and more pyramids. But let's not forget about the real star of the show, the mummies. How did they manage to keep them around for centuries without using soggy corpse problems? It's no secret that mummification was a meticulous process, and it involved more than just your typical preservations while natan salt the ancient egyptians go-to body bag did its job for drying out the body there might have been something else involved in the process something a little more highly unusual picture this you're an embalmer you've got a royal body on your slab you've got your bandages your spice jar and what yes a little something extra cannabis leaves you roll up a few joints wrap the body like it's a royal blunt and voila, an eternally preserved mummy. Forget about wrap it up. We're talking about wrap it and smoke it. Maybe mummification was the original high society. Cannabis, as we know, has been around for ages and its preservative qualities might have made it the secret ingredient. In fact, some believe that the antifungal and antibacterial properties of cannabis could have been just the thing to store the mummies from going the way of a forgotten salad. If you ask me, ancient Egypt wasn't just creating the pyramids. They were also crafting the world's first chronic tombs. I mean, they were really getting into the whole high art of mummification. You don't just wrap a body in linen and call it a day. You wrap it in a blanket of herbs and make it smell like a 420 friendly spa. If they were making cannabis infused body wraps, then clearly they were getting their pharaohs baked in preparation for the afterlife. Imagine walking into a tomb, inhaling the fresh scent of pine, earth, and maybe just a hint of sweet, sweet reefer. Is that patchouli, you ask? No, someone replies. It's mummification. The ancient Egyptians might have been embalming not just as a means of keeping the body intact, but as a ritual to elevate the soul. I mean, who wouldn't want to feel lit before heading off to face the judgment of the gods? Nothing says eternal life like a nice calming joint before meeting Anubis at the gates of the afterlife. Can you imagine handing your heart over for Wayne and saying, I swear I was chill. I was just taking a little hit with rock. Here's a riddle for you. I'm sharp as a blade, long as a wand. Hold through the nose, breaking the bond. Out with the thoughts, empty the head, so you may rest among the dead. Let's think about this for a second. Cannabis isn't just a fun party trick. It's been used as an herb with medicinal and psychoactive properties for centuries. Why wouldn't the ancient Egyptians have seen the potential to use it not just for healing, but for, let's say, enhancing the preservation process? Perhaps they saw cannabis as a way to spiritually elevate their deceased rulers. After all, if you've got the divine right to rule, why not have the best herb in your tomb? Can you picture it? The embalmers are walking into the royal tomb, rolling up some cannabis and carefully sprinkling it in the wraps. The pharaoh's not just wrapped in linen, he's wrapped in high society. Talk about making an entrance into the afterlife. This is the high you can't get anywhere else, they'd say. Puffing away and nodding sagely. Who needs incense when you got weed that smells like eternal peace? And maybe a little bit of 
chronic relief. But let's not be too subtle here. Cannabis's role in preserving the body could have been far more potent than we ever imagined. A few sprigs of weed might have been all that stood between the pharaoh and becoming a pile of dust. You know, embalming doesn't just stick without the right touch. Maybe cannabis wasn't just for making them feel mellow. Maybe it made them last longer too. After all, well-preserved mummy is one that stays lit forever. Here's another riddle for you. Hold the organs one by one until you journey to the sun. With animal heads, I guard with care. With nothing lost when you reach there. By now, we've all heard of the canoptic jars that contain the organs of the deceased, right? Imagine what those jars would look like if they were filled with something a little more chill, let's say. Instead of livers and lungs, they were packed with weed. A canoptic jar filled with finely rolled joints would be the ultimate item on any stoner's wish list. Maybe instead of packing spices in those jars, they were storing the most precious substance in the afterlife cannabis these jars weren't just about keeping things fresh they were about keeping it together until judgment day the ancient egyptians were no fools they knew that for an embalming to be truly effective the soul of the deceased needed to be relaxed and ready for action what better way to send someone off to meet their god than with a nice mellow high it's like sending them to their eternal judgment with the world's most relaxing vacation all they needed was a little weed to smooth out the ride riddle time book of spells to guide the way one who rise on judgment day your ticket to eternity's door with secrets chants and lore galore what am i it wasn't just the embalming process that might have included cannabis the afterlife was a big deal in ancient egypt you didn't just get a one-way ticket to paradise you had to prove you were worthy of eternal peace. And what better way to make sure your soul was in tip-top shape than by preparing with the finest herb known to mankind. Imagine the scene. He's standing over a tomb, performing the final rites with the joint in hand, saying, I know we've got all these prayers and spells, but let's not forget the most important step of all. Lighten this thing up. Sure, the Book of the Dead may have contained all the necessary spells to navigate the afterlife, but I'm guessing a little smoke break was part of the process. Cannabis, this relaxing properties, might have been used to make the deceased more receptive to the spiritual transition. After all, the ancient Egyptians were experts at setting the mood. The next time you see a mummy, don't just think of it as a corpse. Think of it as the ultimate chill experience. After all, if you're going to meet Anubis, you would better be feeling relaxed. Here's another riddle for you. I'm sealed tight and stored away awaiting life on the final day a mask of gold a tube of stone but only pharaohs call me home let's not forget the final rap job the tomb itself no mummy is complete without a final resting place but here's the thing the egyptians didn't just throw the pharaohs into a hole in the ground and call it a day nah bruh they sealed those bad boys up in a coffin made of pure gold and possibly infused with cannabis too who needs a plain old wood box when you got a smoking hot tomb designed to keep the ancient king's body safe for all eternity? The idea of cannabis as part of the preservation process could have taken the whole mummification process to new heights. Imagine the mummies in their crypts, eternally wrapped in linen and cannabis leaves, waiting for their souls to be freed from the earth and rise into the afterlife. It wasn't about keeping the body in one piece it was about giving the soul a smooth ride so where do we end up at peeps the ancient egyptian mummy wrapped in history cannabis and mystery what started as a simple preservation process might have been something far more potent than we imagined next time you see a mummy remember it might not be just the linen that's keeping it together it might be the weed of the dead and who knows maybe they're just waiting for the next big hit you know what they say, you can take the mummy out the tomb, but you can't take the weed out the mummy. The answers to the riddle. A hook used to remove the brain. Noptic jars. The book of the dead. A sarcophagus. i see y'all on the next one, bruh.